Well, I'm glad you came here because I have a fine, fine show for you this evening. I have uh, fabulous comics. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to bring up two friends of mine who uh, I've partied with uh, rather frequently in the past couple of uh, three weeks. You, would you be happy about that? Yeah. Oh, your enthusiasm is just killing the shit out of me. I'm telling you, sir, get a shot of this guy right here, because I am going to torture you later on in the show. You don't want to applaud for anybody, huh? You came in here to be judgmental. Well, screw you, sir. We are going to deal with you a little bit later on. You people at home, you can look forward to that, okay? Right now, I'm going to bring up a comedy team, one of the few comedy teams in the United States worth their salt and their fine, fine group of travel. I first met them in Pittsburgh, and now they are... Boston type people who perform in this area and all over the country. I know you're going to enjoy them. A nice round of applause for the comedy, Mr. Zito and Bean. <laughs> Mike McDonald and Helen McDonald. Mike McDonald. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Mike. fabulous. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who are not paying attention to Mike McDonald, allow me to reintroduce ourselves. We are the comedy team of Zito and Bean. My name is Steve Bean, and I am a Jew. Thank you very much. Thank you thank very you. much. <laughs> That's all we have time for. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I'm a Jew. Mike McDonald, thank you. Thank you I'm Chris Zito, and I'm a WAP. And this was The Sound. Jew up, 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 Well, this is very nice. We'd like to start off our show with a few impressions for you. This is a famous TV show right now, The Joker's Wild. Joker! 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, You know, it's always nice to have a few Jack Berry fans in the crowd. Right? Yeah, it really is. It kind of bums me out, though, that you guys are laughing and applauding at that. Uh, obviously, you're not aware of the fact that Jack Berry passed away recently. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. It's true. It's true. They say he died of a heart attack. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the doctor said it was his tinker, tinker, tinker. <laughs> Let's just hope he didn't get the devil, Steve. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, the Jack Barry fan club is here. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, we killed him, okay? How's that? Does that make you happy? Here's another impression for you. This is very dangerous. Please don't try this in your cable studio. This is an impression of a famous cereal box cover. Here we go. A famous cereal box cover. Apple Jacks! <laughs> Please remember, we are trained professionals. Bear this in mind at all times. Trained professionals who just returned from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, had a lot of fun, came back on a Greyhound bus. Yeah, I love that slogan. Go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. Yep, as if I'm going to go Greyhound and drive the bus myself. <laughs> we didn't drive the bus, but we were very happy to be back in Boston, back in the big city. Sure thing, I turned to Chris and said, hey, we're back in the big city tonight. Let's have a lot of fun. Let's party all night long. Let's paint the town red. Let's have a really good time. And let's go to the mall. Yeah. yeah. Come on, that's where it's happening. Any mall in the country you've been to, you've seen a peculiar kind of guy they have out there right now, mall security guards, right? Mall security guards, not only are these bogus individuals disguised as real policemen, they're actually allowed to carry walkie-talkies, clubs, and guns. Certainly, we don't have to tell any of you people about the kind of life and death situation these brave boys are facing out there every day at the mall. <coughs> yeah, mayday, mayday, mall security. Uh, I got a guy down here in the escalator. I don't think he's using the handrail. Can I get a backup, please? Uh, yeah, I'm all security. Better send the paramedic team up here. The guy's on some kind of drugs or something. He's freaking out in the black light poster section of Spencer Gifts. <laughs> yeah, I'm all security. I got a guy up here taking the pennies out of the fountain. Yeah, can I get a SWAT team for this bozo? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can tell you, folks, is don't go out there, because remember, if you get busted at the mall, you are in for the hassle of your life. Will you look at the time? 
I'm supposed to be at that bar mitzvah in five minutes. I think I left my yarmulke at home. Well, wait just one minute, Mr. Feenstein. Don't you worry, don't you fret, because at last relief is on the way with new Rabbi on the Run disposable yarmulkes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, Rabbi on the Run, it's the beanie in a box. Just pop it out and put it on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, they're so convenient you can blow your nose in them, too. <laughs> it's a heavy-duty Stridex pad. <laughs> it's just pretend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's not the real thing. It's just uh, stage snot. Yeah, a, <laughs> same, stuff you see, same stuff you see on professional wrestling. You see. Here's a little bit more game show humor for you. Quick impression based on a game show. This is an earthquake on Hollywood Squares. Oh! Oh, oh an earthquake! Oh, Hollywood Squares! Oh. oh, the humanity, the humanity! <laughs> We're out there with Peter Marshall playing Catch a Falling Star. I got Charlie Weaver. I got Cox. Here comes Tony Field. <laughs> Later tonight, a special report. Coping with facial moles. <laughs> With your host, Richard Thomas. <laughs> See, you guys remember that mole. He used to hang his keys from this thing. It was disgusting. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Think about John Boy. Check it out. You can wash mugs on that, baby. You know? <laughs> oh, it's not even a mole. It's an appendage. Bro. Hey, it's the biggest mole in the world, people. Let's talk about Walton's Mountain, well, okay? <laughs> we certainly didn't come here to talk about Walton's Mountain. No, more important not. things to discuss uh, with you people. We've been together for a low this period of time, and I think already we've achieved a very nice level of closeness with the audience. Right, That's right, why sir. I want you guys to know the truth about myself. I'm not ashamed to tell you that it happened last week. Uh, I came out of the closet. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your support. That's what we thank you. It's, uh, <laughs> what a nice, nice uh, job. We do want to take this opportunity to wish all of our Jewish neighbors a very happy Hanukkah this year. Uh, get that last minute shopping done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Steve, I'm a Jewish vampire! Get back! <laughs> well, that's a scary holiday, isn't it? Yes, folks? Christmas is upon us. Ladies and gentlemen, last year we learned a very valuable lesson at Christmas. That lesson is that the gift of music is the best gift you can give. So next year, do as we do. Go down to the record store and pick up a copy of the Billy Idol Christmas album. Where he flies all over the world. I'm bringing toys to boys and girls. Girls, if you need a toy for a girl or boy, you call Santa and he's a help. So, oh, oh, Santa and he's a help. So, oh, hey, little Santa, what have you done? Hey, little Santa, you're the only one. You've been away for so long, so long. You've been away all year long, year long. It's a nice day for a white Christmas. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. Before we launch into our final routine, there's one bit of food news we don't want to warn you about. Uh, seems the makers of Franco-American food products had to recall several cans of food because little ground-up chunks of metal were found in the food. And it brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> now, instead of the neat round spaghetti you can eat with a spoon, it's going to be the neat round spaghetti with a spoon you can eat. So be careful. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it's time for this. Who's walking down the streets of New Delhi, smiling at everybody he sees? Who's reaching out to capture the country? Everyone knows it's Gandhi. And Gandhi has skinny thighs. And Gandhi has all eyes. Gandhi, oh Gandhi. Well, you came and you left without eating. So I sent you a tray. Oh, ba da 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 da. Gandhi, Gandhi. Ba -da 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 -da. The Gandhi medley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ba -da 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 -da. West Side Story. Ba -da 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 -da. 1999. Meet George Jetson. Ba -da 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 -da. His boy Elroy. Crazy Elroy. Stay cool, Roy. Got a sprocket in your pocket. A spacely sprocket. Judy, 
I just met his daughter named Judy. Hey, Mr. Spacely, I think you're a jerk. You say I work too slow. I say that I'm overworked. You look like some feces from Astro My Dog. I should go and work for Coswell Cogs. Coswell Cogs! Coswell Cogs! Coswell Cogs! I should work for Coswell Cogs. I should go and work for Coswell Cogs. When you're a Jetson, a Jetson, the day of your first flying car to your last camera ray. Hey, Mr. Spacely. Space you! Thank you very much. They have come to entertain you. You know what I mean? The Sandler and Young of comedy. <laughs>